Man, I cannot help but to flex on y'all, bruh. What's good with y'all? Here, I'm finna get deep and personal with y'all. But I feel like this right here is gonna give the people the power to come out. Cause this is what the, this this channel is deeper than just getting in shape. It's literally becoming your best self, understanding yourself truly, and what's the most important thing to live your best life. Now, I've been through a lot and try to discover myself as an individual. Going from someone used to be 300 plus pounds, never had no female attractions, never had a girlfriend growing up as a teenager throughout my whole entire high school years. And I've been through traumatizing events. Me, you know what I'm saying, getting taken advantage of by my own family members. But I finally came and looked deep within myself and my traumas and understand them truly. And I could finally be free and talk about it to different people. But there's one thing, right? I feel like a lot of people would be ashamed to even talk about or probably going to take it to the grave and never even mention this, pornography. Pornography been a part of me almost my whole entire life. And just recently, I'm coming forward with my addiction because yes, I was a huge, heavy pornography watcher, bro. I was straight smacking the meat so many motherfucking times. It was, it's, um, it's unbelievable, bro. Smacking the silly stick, bro. That's crazy as hell. But listen, I'm going to take you throughout my whole entire history with it and why nowadays I'm literally practicing no fab, semen retention, going hard and strong, bro. I literally practiced this. But it all started when I was eight years old. That was the first time. And I, real, I started to really realize this because this was at the time I was out here getting molested by my own cousins. But back in the day, though, they used to have... Like, they used to sneak porn DVDs and stuff, and what was actually was watching that. I was exposed to sex at a young age. And when you get molested around eight, nine years old more than once, even gave oral to somebody at a young age, bro. That's right, bro. I had a meat stick in my mouth, bro. That's crazy as fuck. That's a kid. Stuff like that, man. I had to really think deep. Like, wow, I really been through a lot as a kid. But that was my first time really getting exposed to the XXX world, the X-rated world, bro. I never would understand and realize that. But things would get even darker once I actually discovered what online porn was. I'll say I was probably like 11, 12 years old. I got the PlayStation 3, bro. Got the internet browser. You know, I remember like I caught somebody once with the porn, like with an with a X-rated site, right? I'll never forget, I used to search it up on the PlayStation 3, bro. And that's where the first time I discovered online porn. And ever since then, it's just been it's just been havoc, bro. Even as a kid, bro, I used to watch the videos 12, 13, 14, all the way throughout my teenage years. It was an everyday thing, bro. I was stuck multiple times. You talking about four day, like four times a day? That's excessive. Bro, how about four times that fucking hour, bro? I'm talking about I was a chronic masturbator, bro. No, like, no, no cap. Like, literally, bro, I was on those sites every day, multiple times. It could probably be one time I get on the site, 30 minutes later, I'm right back on the site. Like, I'm talking about I was down bad, real bad as a teenager, bro. Back then, I had no confidence to even shoot my shot with girls. Back then, I used to value my weight as the reason why I'm not attracting no girls at all. So because of that, I would never have the confidence to even shoot my shot. But literally, my whole entire high school years, bro, I was pretty much a virgin until I was 18. But see, that's the thing, though. Even when I turned 18, that was the one time I even, you know, had some experience. It didn't had no more experience till four more years later, till I'm 22. And that's when I started getting more experience with women. Going right back to my teenage years, if only I realized if I worked on myself, had the confidence, learned how to talk to people, bro, I would literally have a girlfriend, bro. I would have more experience. Everybody was talking about their experiences. I was like, damn, bro, I wish I had that. But see, I used to hail women up here. And I would do anything in my power to get a woman, bro. And once I got her, bro, I would do everything to keep her with me, keep her happy. I don't want her leaving. 
But once she leave, my world comes crashing down, tumbling and stumbling, bro. And I'm depressed as hell. So guess where I'm finna go? Those X-rated videos. And that's when I started to really realize now how demonic and messed up those sites really are. How it's messing you up in here. Your brain. Once I started getting real experience with real women, bro, that's when I started to realize how much of watching that stuff throughout the years has really messed up my brain. You talk about 10 plus years, multiple times a day. I'm talking about 10. We in the double digits, bro. A day. Slapping my shit. But once you start to get with real women, bro, you start to really realize your faults and how it really messes you up, bro. I started performing weird, bro. So the biggest thing was the erectile dysfunction, bro. And this is the reason why I started doing my semen retention journey, bro. The last time I slept with a chick, bro, was a little bit ago. There was a couple of times where I dead ass went soft. This happened more than once with a few women, bro. And it was just like, yo, that is crazy. How am I having performance issues as a 20 year old have an erectile dysfunction bro as a young kid bro like, i'm like come on bro this this ain't this ain't good bro but that's when i started to realize it was the x-rated videos the x-rated videos has really messed my performance up and the last time where it really gave me that soft feeling bro enough was enough bro enough was enough and that's when I went cold turkey on the porn, straight no fap, and semen retention. I've been on it for at least over a month now. And from my experience, let's just say without a doubt, my whole mindset has definitely changed a lot. And I look at things so much more differently now. But the fact that I can look back on that and I realize I, for, I scarred myself. That going on those sites all the time has really traumatized my brain. It really messed it up. And that's all I can see is those sexual images. And it all started as a kid, bro. I was really traumatized. And I was traumatizing myself. So once you are in this bubble of this nofap journey. And you have a porn addiction. Because literally loads of people have it. We're in a hyper-sexualized world right now. So no wonder why people is failing. But trust and believe this, once you catch on to, hey, I got a problem, I literally have an addiction. Once you catch on to that, you start doing things that's going to further improve yourself, as in stay away from those videos and actually talk to girls. It is not hard to get a girl, bro. It's not hard. Oh, this modern day women, this and that. Listen, bro, y'all keep falling for soulless bitches, but there's Beautiful queens and goddesses out there. Find you a quality woman and actually talk, interact. I would rather for you to actually link up with a real woman, a real woman, instead of prostitutes and those X-rated videos. But hell, I'd rather for you to get a prostitute than ever get on those sites. At least that prostitute is real. Those videos is not. You're literally by yourself wanking your shit. And that goes for women too, bruh. Women need to stay away from that too. All y'all need to stay away from that. Gay people, trans people, all y'all niggas. Y'all need to stay away from that shit. Because all it's really doing is burning your brain. It's messing your brain up. But then you want to get with a real person? Your performance is messed up. You can't even perform now. Either look at that person like, damn, bro, you, you ain't performing like those videos are. And then on top of that, you start to be insecure about yourself. Because, oh, that woman looks real good. Look at me. Or, damn, that guy's schlong is way longer than mine, bro. And that's crazy as hell. You're looking at another man's schlong when you a man yourself, nigga. You a cut. Because <laughs> the thing is, it's different. You watching two strangers messing around. And then that's that fantasy, bro. See, there's a, there's, here's the crazy part, bro. I find those X-rated videos way more pleasurable than actual interactions with a real woman, bro. If you're down that bad, bro, you need to switch your mindset. 
this is the reason why I'm here. This is the reason why I've been grinding on these videos. It's to change people's mindset. I'm literally saving people's lives. But see, me talking into a deeper reason, literally talking to you, bro, because we're in this journey together, bro. I'm just like you. I'm a normal individual just like myself, bro. We all finna make it, though. You have to understand that your traumas is yesterday. In order to overcome your trauma, you have to master yourself. Realize you got some issues and you're going to work towards it, overcome it. Keep yourself occupied and busy and set goals for yourself that's going to further expand yourself. But stop getting caught up in these videos because these videos is going to mess you up. Start practicing no fat, semen retention, men, women. Stay away from those X-rated videos. Coming from an extreme porn addict like myself, it's not good for business. I don't care what society try to tell you. There's nothing normal about it. Period.